Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. So I have a little haul video for you. Um, really hate the word haul. I've always hated the word haul. And because I've made these videos on YouTube for a very long time, I just can't help it. And so if I could, I just have a purchase. I bought some stuff. Um, so I really hate saying it. I hate writing it. I hate everything about it. Uh, but here I am today to do a little video showing some purchases. And first, I'm gonna show you some things that I forgot about. I got a couple little things, and I don't even know what's in this package. Um, a sample of Dior. It's basically a mixture in here of, I bought some stuff from Victoria Beckham, and I don't even know if Victoria Beckham stuff may, may be in here or may not be in here, but it's also some purchases that I got from Sephora, and then I put them aside because I'm like, oh, I'll start filming some videos, um, and then I never did. These are good. I can't wait to open these and look at them. Some kind, oh, this little body serum. A little Sunday Riley Good Jeans um, all-in-one lactic acid treatment. A super Goop uh, Triple Prep um, Weightless Multitasking Moisturizer. Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Sunscreen Essential in Florida. Um, you see how tan I am, I'm pretty tan. Um, and I try to wear sunscreen, but the sun just gets you no matter what. And I went in the sun recently several times because it's been finally nice. So um, I can't, I, you know, I just love it. I love it. Sun makes me so happy. So no Victoria Beckham. Just kidding. I lied. There's no Victoria Beckham in here. Um, I got one Gucci thing. So I'm a big fan of blush. And these Gucci blushes, I've had, um, I've had one or two. I can't remember, but they've been great. So this is the Gucci blush in the color number four, Bright Coral. And so I bought that. I was actually looking for this and I didn't know what I did with it. <laughs> but I had bought it and then I'm like, what did I do with it? I can't find it anywhere. So I've been just wearing some other stuff, but um, I'm excited to wear this. This looks lovely. And then I bought some Prada stuff. This is like when the Prada stuff first launched. I bought all this stuff um, because I'm a huge Fra Prada fan. Um, so I bought this, which is the Dimensions Durable Multi-Effect Eyeshadow in number three, Pulse. And I'm gonna be honest, when I went to go purchase the eyeshadow, I bought it because it was Prada. The color combinations, not like my favorite. <laughs> they were, it was kind of challenging to find one that I really liked. Um, and I felt like this would be the most suitable for me. The colors look really great, except for that bright coral color, which I don't know, maybe I'll wear it, but probably not. But the other three look pretty good. I don't wanna to touch them, they're so pretty. Let's do the middle one, see what that looks like. That's that. It does look kind of lovely. That looks lovely too. These are like right up my alley. A little bit of the dark one. And then I guess, I'm just gonna touch the coral one with my finger. They don't, do they feel that great? They're really, hmm, see that? That's not really that great. I'm not sure. Do these colors feel that great? I'm not gonna lie, they seem okay. They don't seem like fantastic at the moment, but I haven't tried them yet. But currently they don't feel fantastic. The colors are pretty though, but the purple didn't seem to go on that great, and the pink, the red is, as you can see, it's very light. So maybe it'll be something I could wear. I don't know. The other two colors look right up my alley, but they don't feel as magical as I feel like they should be for Prada. I did buy two lipsticks. So these are the Prada, the Prada Monochrome Buildable Weightless Lip Color. I bought shade. B108, it's a soft matte beige. Look at that, that's pretty fancy. Weird, look at that, it's very weird. Weird. Sometimes I just don't know, do they do it too much? And then it feels like wobbly too. I don't know if you can tell by this, but it feels kinda, feels wobbly. Um, okay, sometimes I think companies may try too hard. So I don't know if this is a trying too hard thing. It's like almost like a little lavender-y color. It's 
kind of lovely. When the lid's on, it doesn't feel so wobbly. Something about it. Magnetic. That could be great or it could be terrible and you know, you lose the lid. The other color I got is Hyper Matte B01 in Argyle. Is that how you pronounce that? A-R-G-I-L-E. This one is actually silver and gold. Fancy, fancy. That's that. That could be great. We shall see. It's a little wobbly too. And then it just magnetic. Pretty neat. So those are my forgotten items that I had put aside. Um, and now I'll wear them and I'll tell you how I feel about them. But currently, uh, those are my beginning feelings. And then the whole reason I ordered from Sephora this time is because I need mascara. My mascara, I like it. It's a Charlotte Tilbury one, but I decided to change it up. Just sometimes you want to. Um, so I decided to change it up and I got some other things in the process. So I can't even remember <laughs> what I purchased, um, but uh, I needed just mascara. So first, mascara. I got the Gucci mascara. It's lash by lash, buildable volume. Um, I just really want to have beautiful lashes. So that's what I got. We shall see. And it looks just pretty and happy and lovely. And I did read a couple reviews and it seemed like a good thing. Wand seems okay. We'll see, we'll see. We shall see. I got this Westman Atelier, is that how you pronounce it? Baby Cheeks Blush Stick. Um, I like, I like, uh, oh, that's so sad. It just has like a little spot on it. It's so sad. Um, I like using a liquid blush underneath my regular blush. I haven't been doing that lately because the one that I had ran out, but that color it looks kind of lovely. Could be great. <laughs> All, oh, magnetic. They love magnets right now. Another blush. I am gonna have the be most beautiful cheeks you've ever seen. You're gonna be like, whoa, what are you wearing today? This color, this is a Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Glow Blush in the color 51 Amore. Ba -da -ba -da. That looks lovely. And it actually looks like it'll go great with that. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know, maybe not. They're a little bit different. Nice thing about ordering from Sephora on their website over the going into the store is you always get to do like a promotion or something. So I got this um, Elemis. It's a pro collagen cleansing balm. Super cleansing treatment balm. Oh, I remember now. Okay, so I saw sunscreen, sunscreen. So I saw that they had this super goop came out with a new thing and that's what like made me say, okay, I'll just order my mascara right now. Super goop came out with this, the protect, protectant, protectant, uh, daily SPF tint. It's got SPF 50. I got the shade 24 N. We go, we go boating a lot and I really don't wear makeup when we go boating. Um, but I wouldn't mind having a little bit of extra coverage. So I ended up getting this. It sounded right. <laughs> so I went ahead and got this. Although this color, you, Right now I look really tan, but I think this is gonna be the right shade, honestly. <laughs> it looks like it might not be, but I think it'll end up being okay. These are kind of just like fun products I bought, but does not look pretty. <laughs> Whatever I had on my finger, I don't know. Oh, it smells like watermelon. Lovely. And then I bought this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray. I always want sprays and things to work and they don't necessarily ever do so um i'll try this one out all over am i locked in now i don't know does it feel feel like i my makeup has been locked in maybe it's gonna stay on all day we shall see but it's on there right now and to think that i'm trying to eliminate products right now when i just added all of that into my life <laughs> just stop me just please stop me 
I should stop. But that is it for now. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I'll be posting again relatively soon. Um, if you have any requests for any kind of videos, let me know. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll uh, be able to update you with um, some of those products and let you know how they work and if they're great um, or if they are garbage. <laughs> we shall see. Goodbye for now.